we look to rebound, many schools are starting to roll out their pandemic plans. Yeah, many school districts typically start, start the school year on the Tuesday after Labor Day, which is 62 days away, including Novi Schools, which has just released details for the new year. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury shows us why these plans could change and why some parents may have to put their teacher hat on. As a mom whose oldest child is going to kindergarten this fall, I understand why parents and students are anxious to see what the new school year will look like. Well, now we're getting an idea of what Novi schools are considering after they unveiled a 19 page plan. This is uncharted territory for most of us and, and we're trying to navigate through it. Dr. Steve Matthews is the superintendent for Novi Schools. He just released the school plan called ROAR, Responsive Organizational Academic Return. As of right now, there will be two options for families, either traditional in-person classes with safety measures in place or completely virtual learning. They want to avoid a plan that combines both that other schools are considering, like West Bloomfield. That's when students learn half at home and half at school. We just don't see how that's going to work very well for, for students, for example, and also for teachers. How would they be expected to teach their in-class, in-person students, and then also manage and teach their uh, virtual students at home? Option one will require masks for staff and students if we're still in phase four of reopening the state. Masks will be strongly recommended in phase five. Social distancing will be enforced with students sitting at separate desks, all facing one way, and staggered lunch schedules will be introduced. Option two is virtual only with teachers dedicated to this type of learning. Uh, we're going to ask our parents uh, in August to identify uh, and commit to an option uh, for the start of school in September. But Dr. Matthews warns virtual learning will be tougher for younger students, which means parents will have to take on the task to help teach to assume that students would be able to, especially young students, kindergartners, first grade students, be able to sit for five or six hours in front of a computer is probably not appropriate. And the superintendent says that these plans could change and they're asking for feedback from the parents. But I'm told that the virtual learning option will continue no matter where we are in the pandemic. I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News. All right, Simon, thank you. And